Hello, welcome to my pitch. I'm your host, Daniel Waterman, and this is my first, and hopefully last, virtual presentation for my pitch. It's for a parallel action project that I should be doing later. Let's get into it. Pitch, not the audio kind. So, the basic idea of my pitch. Uh, so the concept was that there'd be two people. One guy is very happy, one is very sad, lonely, miserable, depressed. These guys were once best friends, which be portrayed through an- well, it would be portrayed through some way, I'm not entirely sure. I want to do it through a transition through an image, as in, you go in a happy guy's house, he goes around his day, pans like a picture on his dresser or something, and then it cuts through into the sad guy's house through the picture. The parallel action will start as the two men go about their daily lives and morning routine, and it will continue as they go out into the street, where the sad man will see the happy guy, his old friend, happily waltzing down the street. He'll become jealous of his happiness and will try to attack him, but his attack will either miss, or he'll get knocked down by the happy man dancing along, not noticing his existence, and continuing to his destination. In short, it's got everything. It's got the comedy, the drama, it's got the EastEnders without the depressing faff, it's got the Mrs. Brown Boys without the... Mrs. Brown Boys. Visual style. So to exaggerate how happy the happy guy is, the colour will be oversaturated, it's very bright and happy colours. Uh, the concept sort of similar to the music video by Joel Corey called Head and Heart. Sort of very similar sort of idea. And the reverse with the sad guy being a dark, dimly lit room. And I want to try and include a side-by-side -side shot during the parallel actions. I think that could look cool. Again, totally not plagiarizing head and heart. Here is a mood board where we have a few images of ideas for or colors and inspiration, really. As you see, some of these are quite sunny and happy. And then other ones are quite depressing and miserable. And then you have this screenshot, again, from Joel Corey's head and heart. Key features and genre. I'd like to say it has comedy with a bit of drama, but I don't know where to start with that. Even though I couldn't decide in an exact genre, um, I know that in comedy and drama there are um, usually overly exaggerated features such as body language and mood and lots of emphasis on uh, colours and their meanings, so I'll be trying to include that. The main target audience of this will be late teens to early twenties. This is purely because I feel like they'll enjoy it more, and it's more of their sort of comedy. Resources. Ignore the commas. They're not there. Gone. So, for props slash equipment. I won't need much for this except toothbrushes, maybe outfits, a photograph, you know, usual stuff you use for a morning routine, maybe. If I want to make the transition between photographs well, I'll need a camera, shoulder mount thing, uh, you know what it is. A tripod, maybe, and yeah, that's about it. For locations, I'll be using my grandmother's estate. Well, that sounds posh. I'll be using my grandmother's house for the indoor shots, and I might use a small town near my old primary school for the outdoor shots, simply because it's quite deserted, not really going to get in anyone's way, no one really walks around it, and to be honest, it's basically just a street. It's not really a town. My right, actors and crew. I will use my friend Nathaniel for the role of happy man, as he is very upbeat himself, and I haven't told him yet. For the sad person, I can't decide whether to use my other friend Zach, not college Zach, or Matilda again. Really depends on availability. Done. That surprised me as much as it did you. Any questions? Yeah, uh, I thought that question would come up. Uh, you don't need an answer. Bye.